Okay, so if you want to know what makes TJ Watt so absurdly good, it's not how often he wins as a uh, pass rusher, even though he wins basically every time. It's not how good he is in the run game, even though he basically wins every single time. It's that he is just an absurdly good player at making splash plays. I've never seen anything like it. We're on this play. He's just an off-ball linebacker on this one. Like He's not a edge rusher who's dropping back into coverage. He's just straight up playing linebacker on this play. The zone that is in yellow, that's where he's supposed to cover. And you see there is a route kind of underneath really the player next to him's zone, but could eventually hopefully get into a gap in coverage for if you're a Rams fan, that's what you're hoping. Watch as one Matthew Stafford takes the snap, he looks over and you see why he's looking in this direction, right? There is a window to make this throw. You have kind of nice leverage against the linebacker who's over the middle, but ball hawk TJ Watt is reading this play. I mean, you see a ton of like, really good defensive players not doing this. Guys who do this for a living, this is their job, not being able to read the quarterback as well as we're going to see Watt read the quarterback here. Watch him step in front of this route. He gets an interception, gets a nice return as well. Uh, it's just one of those insane things where it's like, this guy is debatably the best pass rusher, if not the best pass rusher in football. And at the same time, he also like, is he's legitimately just a good off-ball linebacker. Like when he plays coverage, he's legitimately just good at that as well. I don't know. To everyone who says, well, Micah Parsons is more versatile, I don't know if he is because look at what TJ Watt just did. Just an absolutely absurd play to be able to do that at a position that isn't your primary position.